Well, I don't know about you, but being in Kansas City, I'm pretty excited for the big game this weekend as the Kansas City Chiefs and Philadelphia Eagles are facing off in the Super Bowl. But the field on which each team will play actually plays a very important role in the big game. And it's the science behind that turf that has roots at Oklahoma State University. SunUp TV's Lyndall Stout has that story. Oklahoma State University's Turfgrass Research Center is once again in the national spotlight, this time for Super Bowl 57. Tahoma 31, developed by OSU scientists, was selected for the playing field at State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. Turfgrass breeding program really has focused on developing varieties that are tough. Tahoma 31 is also resilient, has a fine texture, darker green color, and can handle drought, cold, and shade. Plant breeder Dr. Yan Shi Wu is on the turf development team. Not many Bermuda grass seeds are shade tolerant, but this Tahoma 31. So all these components put together make this grass is robust in many aspects. So adapted to many locations. A new turf grass variety takes 10 to 15 years to research and develop. The extensive testing takes place in the greenhouse, the lab, and in the field, and can include more than 1,000 experimental plants. The best variety is then patented and released commercially. We, we have no involvement in the selling of the product itself. It's just simply the development of it to uh, really try to solve specific problems. So uh, let's say, for instance, this year we had a very tough drought year. And so we have some grasses that have some specific characteristics that really handle the drought very well, like perhaps an enhanced root system. And so those are the kinds of characteristics that a breeder is looking for. Royalties from the patents come back to the university for further research. Dr. Dennis Martin is an OSU Extension turf grass specialist on the team. So the grass is performing, uh, and uh, as long as it continues to perform, uh, I think we'll see it on those facilities. And, and at the same time, we've got the next generations of materials in the pipeline that are experimental to be rolled out. Turf grass breeding programs were originally developed in order to develop forages for cattle and sheep uh, to, you know, to, for food production. But in the process, we learned a lot about how grasses behave and different kinds of grasses. And lo and behold, it turns out Bermuda grass is a tremendous grass for playing surfaces. And great for advancing science. Very proud uh, when you start thinking about uh, the reach that we have for our turf grass. We have it in Soldier Field, but we also have it at Churchill Downs. We have it at the Capitol Building in Washington, D.C. Uh, and then to have it in two playoff games, uh, two different ones, and then the Super Bowl, I don't know if anybody could ever claim that they had plant material that people were playing on and the performance of that. That's really astounding. Bottom line, even though the game has yet to be played, Oklahoma State is already a winner. For Oklahoma State University, I'm Lyndall Stout. Thanks, Lyndall. A little ag ankle in the Super Bowl. Well, USDA cut ethanol demand in its latest report, but John Phipps looks into ethanol use next. Ukraine and U.S. food prices. U.S. Farm Report is brought to you by Golden Harvest. Broad adaptability, high yield potential, solid agronomics, great late season health. The foundations of a successful season start with Golden Harvest Game Changing Corn. Find your hybrid at GameChangingCorn.com.